Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, we're told here that the volume of air in a person's lungs as the person breathes in and out can be modeled by a sine graph. Okay, so we're dealing with a trig graph here. A scientist is studying the differences in this volume, so specifying the volume of the air for people at rest compared to people told to take a deep breath. Okay. When examining the graphs, should the scientist focus on the amplitude, period, or midline? Explain your choice. Okay, well, um, with these kind of problems, make sure you focus on what they are asking you to think about. In this case, they're really asking about the volume. How much can you breathe in or out? Not the speed of it, not the average, but the volume, total volume. So I'm going to pull up a Desmos graph here. We'll look at this together. So if I type in f of x equals sine of x, so here's, a, here's my sine graph right here. And I'm going to change the increments on the x-axis. I'm going to click this. And I'm going to make it up, say, by, by pi radians so we can see our sine wave here. That's our parent function. Let's then manipulate this function. And if you remember, the way we manipulate the amplitude is by multiplying sine by a num uh, by a in the front, and um, we could write g of x equals a sine, and then to mess with the frequency, we usually use the variable b, and then midline is the is c, right? So we have a, b, and c. So initially, we'll bring the midline down here, and to show you the midline, we'll actually have a horizontal line y equals c. That's just a horizontal line that will be the midline of our function g of x. So I'm going to leave f of x where it is, and g of x is going to be, be the sine wave manipulated uh, based on amplitude a, uh, frequency, which is controlled by the variable b, and midline, which is controlled by c. And I'll give it a blue uh, dashed midline so you can see how it's changing. So if I change the value of c, I move this up or down, right? Now what is that midline? Well, if the y-axis here is the volume, right, what is the x-axis? Well, maybe that's the, the rate at which they're breathing, right? Every, every so often they're taking a breath. So for example, I don't know if this makes any sense, but for this blue function up here, g of x, when they're breathing in, the maximum, it looks like the maximum volume of their lungs is four, four whatever whatever they're measuring that in cubic inches or something, and the minimum volume of their lungs is two. So their volume is going between four and two. Now the parent function wouldn't make sense in, in terms of volume because it would be going between positive one and negative one, and we're not dealing with a negative volume. But the idea is I want you to see if we raise the midline, we're essentially raising the whole average of the volume in the person's lungs, right? And you'd probably have two different sine waves, one for a person who's taking deep breaths and one for a person who is uh, at rest. So you see a couple of sine waves, but the idea is that whatever sine waves you see, the midline gives you the average volume of that person's lungs. So if I move this up here, now their average is at four. And that makes sense because the highest volume is five and the lowest is three, and the average is four, right in the middle. So midline is your average right, volume. If I, if I mess around with B, I'm going to mess around with the frequency, the speed at which they're breathing. Here I'm breathing really fast, lots of little breaths, lots of breath, excuse me. And then here, same volume, but slow breaths, right? Fast and slow. But we're not interested in the speed at which they're breathing. We're interested in the volume, and that's where the amplitude comes into play. The amplitude, right, take the absolute value of A, it stretches right, the volume that you're looking at. So here, when the amplitude's one, in this case, our midline is at two, so the volume goes between three and one. If I double that amplitude, right, my volume has a much higher range. It goes from four to zero. Now, of course, you wouldn't have a zero volume, so I'd probably raise my average. And maybe a person taking deep breaths, if I zoom out here, maybe they have something like this. And then now I'm gonna mess with my parent function. Maybe a person with shallow breaths or just at rest, right, same average, but maybe they wouldn't be breathing as deep. Maybe their maximum volume would only be five, and their minimum volume wouldn't go as low, because maybe when you breathe in deep, you can then exhale and lose volume, whereas if you're just sitting there at rest, you wouldn't have as much variation. 
So, long story short, let's go back here. The idea is that uh, the answer is the amplitude. And you want to say in words why this is. Be straightforward. Don't talk about the period or midline here, but you don't have to. Just explain why you chose amplitude. Because if you explain period and midline in such a way that you reveal an error, you could lose some, some, some points there in your answer. So I would say um, they should focus on focus on amplitude. because it will show the change in volume, right? That might be one way to say it, the change in volume. Now, this feels like maybe I'm not really saying much of value here. Right? Maybe I'm just kind of regurgitating that amplitude is the answer. So if that's the case, um, I, I understand what you're saying, but really, if you want to elaborate, I guess you could say the amplitude, it will show you how much air gets in the lungs, and that's a maximum. And then um, the maximum is the maximum volume, and the minimum is the minimum volume of the sine wave, and the amplitude controls the maxes and the mins. You could say that as well if you want to go further. I think that might be a good idea. But I think actually they would accept this. You might also want to say, because it will show the change in volume, um, and then erase this, for the person at rest versus the person taking deep breaths. Now, if you don't like that, if you think you want to say more, I guess you could. Again, the only thing, um, is that breathes or breaths? Is there an E here? I don't know. Um, you might show a little picture to explain what you mean. Right? So here's a sine wave. So this right here is our max. Max volume, and this here is our minimum volume. And I drew it so the minimum volume is negative here, so that might be a bad idea. You might want to shift that around. So here I'll kind of cheat something like this, right? Uh, again, you don't want to reveal too much and then give them a chance to take points away. But the idea is that you could you could write more. I'm not going to write here because it's difficult to write on the screen complete sentences. But the idea is that the amplitude. Here's the midline. The, the amplitude is the distance from the midline to the max and distance to the min. Right? That is the amplitude. And you could explain in words that the amplitude controls the distance from the midline to the max and min. And um, th therefore, it's the thing you want to look at. So, I, I mean, I don't like this question because it's not entirely clear how much you have to explain. But if you just say amplitude, that's the correct answer. This is only number 25, so not looking for an essay. But you could say it's the amplitude because it'll show the change in volume because the amplitude controls the height of the maximum and minimum volume on a sine wave. I'm not really sure what else you could say uh, without really writing a bunch of and giving examples. So I hope that helps. Again, be a minimalist, but definitely say the answer and say why you think that is.